Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In this video, I will tell you 10 things that you must know about prokaryotes. The diameter of a typical prokaryotic cell ranges between 0.1 to 5 micrometer. However, some bacteria can be as small as 100 nanometer, and some giant bacteria can be as large as 300 micrometer. So, size alone cannot be the criteria to decide if a cell is prokaryotic or eukaryotic. Since the maximum resolution of a light microscope is 200 nanometer, many prokaryotic cells can be seen under the light microscope as they are larger than 200 nanometer. Generally, all prokaryotes are unicellular, even though there are some rare cases where the bacteria work together as if they are a multicellular organism, but many scientists still consider that as a colony, just like the other types of bacteria, and not multicellular. Prokaryotes can be further separated into two domains, archaea and bacteria. So it is true that all bacteria are prokaryotic cells, but it is not true that all prokaryotic cells are bacteria. Most of the bacteria have a cell wall that contains peptidoglycan, a polymer consisting of sugars and amino acid. There are a small number of bacteria that do not contain peptidoglycan in their cell wall, but we still consider this as a key structural feature of bacteria. Archaea cell walls, on the other hand, do not contain peptidoglycan, so this is not a feature of all of the prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotes are lacking organelles surrounded by double membrane, so they do not have nucleus, mitochondria, and chloroplasts. With that said, prokaryotic cells do not carry out mitosis, as mitosis is defined as the nuclear division. They divide by binary fission. Even though prokaryotic cells do not contain chloroplasts, many bacteria can carry out photosynthesis, as they have photosynthetic pigments. Prokaryotes have naked DNA. Naked DNA refers to DNA that is not associated with histone proteins. It does not refer to the fact that it is not surrounded by a nuclear envelope or that the DNA is lying freely in the cytoplasm. Bacteria cells usually have a double-stranded, helical, and circular DNA called a bacterial chromosome. However, they may contain multiple smaller circular DNA known as the plasmid. They can pick up new plasmid from other bacteria cells or from their environment, but they can also lose them when they do not pass it to one of their daughter cells as they divide. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.